What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Rodney's World. Alright, you ready for some Shibnobi news and updates, right? I know you guys are. That's what you guys been waiting for, right? So, guys, I came out with this video a little late, so my apologies. Been working all day, but I really wanted to get this video out to you, everybody tonight. Um, I'm also going to do another video, probably tonight or early tomorrow morning, going over tonight's AMA as well. This video is just kind of going over the chart, taking a look and seeing what kind of happened today as far as news and updates, and also doing a quick recap of last night's AMA. But guys, before before I begin, if you like this video, smash that like button, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed already to my channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. I have a lot of stuff planned for this channel and this community. And if you guys like my Shibnobi videos, right, I always give you guys the latest and greatest Shibnobi news. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Without further ado, let's get into the chart. Right now, at the time of this recording, we're training number three on Dex Tools. Price right now is down about 2.88%, guys. Not that bad. Right now, the market, guys, isn't doing anything too hot, right? So, which is okay. Holders, we're at 55,339. Total market cap was right around that 554 million. So liquidity, guys, actually is looking real nice. Liquidity is at 33, a little over 33 million. Liquidity is looking very nice. And so far, guys, the chart is looking good too. It's staying nice and strong. Some tight consolidation, really, guys, over the last day or two. After we had seen that big drop with that, you know, that pre-sale member, it's been actually staying pretty steady the last day or two guys so good things are coming we're going to be listed on safe moon swap guys which i'm going to get into in a second you know awesome news on safe moon i'm so glad we're going to be getting on that guys other than that chart's been looking nice and healthy let's hop into shibnobi's official twitter page let's see what's going on in there so a quick recap before i kind of get into the uh safe moon swap quick recap of what had been discussed in last night's ama guys is this so Pre-sale violator, right? I had made a video on this last night as well. So for those of you who hadn't watched it yet, I will post it at the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and check it out. I just kind of give my thoughts and my opinion on what had happened. I'm not going to harp on that. Pre-sale violator. As everyone's likely aware by now, we had another private sale investor that broke the rules and sold 728 ETH worth of Shinja this morning. His wallet has been blacklisted and the remainder of his tokens, 84 quintillion, will be burned. Okay, fake Twitter accounts. Cliff is currently being impersonated on Twitter, so please ensure you follow his real Twitter account at FreePatriot76. Guys, follow me on Twitter, uh, Rodney's World. I will go ahead and post the link below. Follow me on Twitter because I, I share everything Shibnobi, anything crypto related, guys, I share it. So if you guys haven't followed me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter. That way you guys are able to follow actually the right people. Um, and just be careful with the scams. There is a lot of scams going on, just not with Shibnobi, but with everything, right? So be very careful. Do your due diligence. Take a look at the all the links I post in my videos. They come straight from their website. And if you want to double check it, go to their main website through Dex Tools. You guys can just go right over here. Click this little web button on Dex Tools and it'll take you to their main website, right? I Like I said, I will also post all those links below. Within their main website, you guys are able to, to get into all their, their social networks, right? So you guys are making sure you're adding and getting into the right network. Okay, guys, that's important. So just be aware. So Next, marketing wallet. So FUD has been spreading on Twitter about some of the transactions occur occurring in the market wallet, right? So the last four of the market wallet, A2, Delta, Bravo. As Cliff has stated a few times now, due to the market health, he has been co converting the ETH in his wallet into USDC slash USDT in order to maintain a stability until the market recovers. The value is still, the value is still there. Cliff is not cashing out the funds. So ultimately what had what had happened is this Cliff had taken the, the ETH and converted it into USDC or USDT. That way it doesn't lose value, right? Because if you guys have a certain amount of money in ETH, what's going to happen? It's going to go up and it's going to go going to go down depending on the market, right? So instead of us lose instead of him losing that money in ETH since ETH has been dropping, what he did was he converted it into USDC and USDT. So that way the money is good. It doesn't drop, it doesn't go up. It's stays the same, right? That's what he meant on the marketing wall. So for anybody who's spreading FUD on the marketing wall, guys, do your research and understand it before you start spreading FUD. SafeMoon, right? This is the big one. SafeMoon has gotten back to us on our request and we will be listing on their swap Wednesday, February 9th. Guys, that is huge. Shout out to SafeMoon and, you know, everything that they've been doing. It has been such an easy process getting on their stuff. They've, you know, really kind of had our back and just moved up our date because originally we had been listed, I think, on the February 18th. They had moved it down and gave us our own day. That way, some of the a lot of the attention on, you know, the swap when we get listed on February 9th is, you know, just for us. And 
that's awesome, guys. They've been doing a lot of stuff for Shibnobi, and they've taken care of us. So shout out to the Safe Moon community. I appreciate everything you guys have been doing for Shibnobi. It means a lot. So airdrops. Some questions are going around Twitter about why airdrops are even occurring. As most of us already know, these airdrops are for our private pre-sale investors that provided the initial liquidity of the project. They were not given all of their tokens at once, but instead in installments over time. They also had a set of rules for selling that they had were required to follow. Due to the new private sale investors that violated them, these rules were made even more strict and the token distributions were stretched over a long period. They still have not received the last 20% of their vested tokens. So that's important to understand, guys. Now, I know some of these pre-sale members have been kind of getting a bad rap, right? But you guys got to remember, they, you know, a lot of these pre-sale guys, they they helped set up the liquidity pool. They helped get this project going. So even though right now some of them have been getting a bad rap, there's still like about 50 of them that are still following the rules, still doing exactly what Cliff has instructed them to do and just ultimately follow the rules, right? Yes, we had a few, we've had a few bad apples, but that's with anything in life. There's always going to be a few bad apples with anything, right? But most importantly, guys, try not to get too caught up in this. It is what it is, guys. Let's move on and let's just focus on the on the on the project itself, right? So airdrops we we got we got covered. Reassurance. Cliff stated that the dumps will inevitably happen again, right? Because it's crypto. That's just the nature of trading. We will climb back up to new all-time highs and investors will begin to take large profits. Then we'll climb back up to a new all-time high again. Many successful projects have gone through the same thing. Shiba Inu, SafeMoon, etc. Our community needs to remember not to panic when these things happen, but to, but instead realize that we haven't even started launching utilities yet. This is just the beginning. Now guys, I had mentioned this in my last video, okay? I, I mean, projects are gonna go through up and downs. Does that mean it's a rug pull? Absolutely not, right? But it's crypto. Anything can happen, and with, what I mean by that is this. There's going to be sell-offs, and it's going to just, it's gonna go down, it's gonna dip. But it's gonna usually, you know, with these strong projects that have strong communities backing them, it will more than likely kind of just go back up, right? Over time, especially with all the utilities and everything Shibnobi has going for it. I mean, just guys, it's normal in crypto. There's gonna be drops, there's gonna be sell-offs. It's the nature of the game, guys, all right? Token versus coin. So there seems to be still some concern regarding the launch of our coin with the Kasari blockchain. There will be a migration period at launch in which investors will have the option to trade all or some of their tokens for the coin. Again, the token will still remain very relevant in our ecosystem, right guys? The token will still have the same value. It's not going to decrease in value, okay guys? The token and the coin will be bridged so nobody will lose value regardless if they choose to migrate or not. There will also be a lot of functions and features in various sections of our ecosystem that will aid in doing buybacks and burns of the token supply, further increasing the value. So again, guys, yes, the coin is coming out, but there is not going to be a decreased um, or there is not going to be a decrease in value of the token, right? So I know there has been a lot of concern about that. So when the coin comes out, guys, it's up to you guys if you want to wait to buy or whichever. Guys, this is a financial advice. All I'm saying is the token is not going to lose value when the coin comes out, but there will also be that bridge to migrate, you know, from your token to coin or, or vice versa, right? So those are some of the main key points that had been addressed in the AMA last night, guys. Some good stuff. So happy for Safe Moon, um, you know, adding Shibnobi on there. I mean, it really, it's really going to do a lot for Shibnobi too as a project. There's a lot of people invested into Safe Moon and for our communities coming together and just overall trying to do this together and, and just, you know, ultimately trying to succeed together. It's awesome stuff. Um, so guys, that was really the stuff, that was really the information that had been passed in last night's AMA. So Shibnobi had tweeted out this, Safe Moon has gotten back to us on our request to list slightly earlier, and we will be listing on their swap Wednesday, February 9th, guys. So put it in your calendars, put it in your iPhone, put it in your laptop, put it in your iPad, do whatever you guys gotta do. We are gonna be listed on Safe Moon. I have my Safe Moon app already ready to go. Um, when Shibnobi launches on SafeMoon Swap. I'm going to actually buy some Shibnobi because I'm going to support SafeMoon too. Um, I have some SafeMoon as well, but I'm going to support them as a project for you know really kind of getting Shibnobi going without there being any like you know setbacks or delay. They've gotten everything taken care of, so I'm going to go ahead and support them and also buy myself some more Shibnobi. But guys, tell me what you think of all that. Um, you know, and also guys, this is important. So. 
Shinobi had tweeted this out earlier today, right? Actually, about an hour ago. They said, to everyone in the Shinja community, please do not badmouth other projects in the space or spread negativity. We do not stand for nor promote that kind of behavior. Shinobi is here to create a better, safer space for all. Don't do it. We're better than that. And again, guys, that's all I try and say on this channel. You know, don't spread FUD about other projects. Who really cares? Guys, Projects are going to go up and down. Does it mean it's a rug pull? No, it does not mean it's a rug pull. So just everybody just relax. Enjoy the ride, guys. This is crypto, right? You got to have a certain stomach for crypto because this is what you're going to be dealing with every single day, whether that's Shibnobi, whether that's any project you're invested into, right? You just got to have a stomach for it. Um, and just remember, guys, always keep it respectful because at the end of the day, we're all in this together, right? So guys, that's all I have for today. I will probably see you guys in the AMA tonight and I'll have another video coming out for you guys uh, uh, you know, later on this evening or even tomorrow morning for some of the people who, you know, didn't get a chance to watch the AMA. And for anybody who just likes hearing my recap of the AMAs, I'll be coming out with another one later today or tomorrow morning. Um, but guys, that is all I have for today. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to all my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, everybody. It means a lot to me. I got so much planned for this community. And just thank you for all your support. And that's all I have for today, guys. I will see you in the next one. This is Rodney. Thank you so much for tuning into Rodney's World. Spread the word about Rodney's World world guys we are doing things different here so that's all i have for today guys have a wonderful night and i'll see you tomorrow or tonight <laughs> peace